what I'm trying to do is just improve the skill of these predictions and also improve the horizon, you know, go to, into a year two forecast. Talk with series research scientist Klaus Volter about his work pushing the boundaries of drought forecasting in Colorado, and you'll surely see a sparkle in his eye. That enthusiasm is inspiring Volter to dig deeper to develop new and more accurate statistical models. His research shows predictable phenomena like El Nino and La Nina can be used to improve drought forecasting. There is actually a very significant El Nino, La Nina uh, footprint in Colorado. El Nino generally brings rain, La Nina leads to drought. The really big droughts that we talk about, like the one we just had 10 years ago for a few years and then the one in the 50s, uh, those are often associated with long-lived La Nina events. Volter is a leading voice on precipitation forecasting in Colorado. It's information that's vital to state leaders, water planners, and industry. There's actually a snowplow driver's convention every year in Estes Park. All of the blue, they ask me about climate change. And then I realized they're worried about having enough snow to plow. <laughs> The CoLab's Governor's Award for High Impact Research in Sustainability goes to Klaus Volter for helping Colorado plan for drought and advancing the accuracy and longevity of our seasonal forecasts. I just made my first forecast for uh, snowpack conditions in Colorado. For most of Colorado, I'm predicting a wet onset of the winter.